Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set a stop loss and take profit in all versions of MediTrader 5. So the Android version, the iOS version, the Windows desktop version, and the web version. So let's go. Here's how you set a take profit and a stop loss on the desktop version of MediTrader 5. Uh, so what you're gonna do here is go to new order in the, in the uh, toolbar there. The easiest thing to do is to just hit the up uh, arrow on the stop loss and that's going to show you this line and then that'll at least put the price in the ballpark of where you want to put the stop loss so uh, what you can do is you can uh, hit the center uh, mouse button on your mouse and then that will give you the crosshair or you can simply go to the crosshair in the toolbar there and that will give you the uh, the uh, crosshair so the crosshair shows you the price on the right side of the screen so you can just go to wherever you want to create the stop loss Let's say you want to put it up there. You just look at the price and then you enter that price into here. Or another way to do it is you can just hit the, um, the up arrows and down arrows and you, you'll see that red stop loss line go up and down. And this is a really weird way to do it in my opinion, but uh, that's how it works in MetaTrader 5. So the same thing with the take profit. You just hit the up arrow and down arrow. This blue TP or take profit line will appear. You just move that around. And then if you uh, want to figure out a price that's outside of this screen here, then you just uh, use the crosshair from the toolbar and you check the price on the right side wherever you want to, wherever you want to set the take profit. And then you enter that uh, price into here. And then once that's done, make sure your order type is correct. So in this case, we're going to do instant execution or a market order, but you can do pending orders and stuff like that. Uh, and then finally, set the volume. Uh, so let's just make that one micro lot. And then once you set the volume, these buy and sell buttons will appear. So in this case, we want to sell since our stop loss is above. So we're going to sell and the order is executed and it shows up on our, um, our blotter. We can see the uh, position that we have right now. You can just hit OK and that's it. You can see the stop loss and the take profit set there. Now, obviously, because that screen was so small, they're really close together, but that's just an example of how you set up the take profit and stop loss in the MetaTrader 5 desktop version. All right, now let's jump over to the iOS version of MetaTrader 5. Uh, this is how you set up a take profit and stop loss in the mobile app. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the uh, circular icon in the upper right corner, that blue and red one that looks like a clock. So tap on that and then you'll see a little menu appear on the bottom. It has SLTP continue and it has an X. So what this is going to do is allow you to set up the stop loss and take profit on the chart. So hit the SL button and then you'll see a little SL red line up here. You can tap and drag that to wherever you want to put it. Let's say we're going to sell. So I'll put the stop loss up there. And then there's also a buy limit line. So if you need to see more of the chart, you can either turn the phone horizontally or you can tap and drag the prices on the right side and that'll compress the screen vertically. So as you can see, there's a buy limit line. So we can move that above the price to make it a sell limit line. And then hit the TP button and that'll make the button green. And you'll see the green take profit line. So you can move that to wherever you want to have it. And then on the menu, hit the continue button. All right, so then it goes to the order entry screen and you can see the stop loss, take profit and the sell limit. Now, this is great if you're doing limit orders. But what if you want to switch the order type? So let's tap the order type bar and you'll see the other types of orders. Uh, the issue with this is that if you switch to another order type, uh, it's going to erase your stop loss and take profit. So this is a major glitch with MetaTrader 5, at least this version of it. Uh, so I would recommend getting a piece of paper, writing down the stop loss uh, price and the take profit price, uh, and then flipping over to a different order type. Let's say you want to do a market order. You can go to instant execution. And as you can see, it, it wipes out everything that you already set up. So you would have to enter that manually. You can just tap there and then use the keypad to enter the price. Uh, same thing with the take profit. Then you want to set the lot size. That's the bar underneath instant execution. So the number in the middle is the lot size. So it's currently at uh, 0 0.01, which is one micro lot. So if you wanted to increase it by one mini lot, you hit the plus 0.1. Uh, if you want to add five, you, you can add five there. And then on the left, you can subtract. So if you wanted to subtract um, mini lots, you can do that. 
Now, if you want to do only micro lots, just hit the number in the middle and the cursor will end up in that box. And then you can use the uh, keypad at the bottom to change the micro lot size. Then from there, just hit buy or sell and your order will be executed. Now, as you can see, this is a really clunky way to do it. And I would not recommend trading with the uh, mobile app. Uh, the mobile app is really good for receiving alerts from your desktop if you have alert indicators on your chart. And it's really good for checking prices or charts when you're on the move. Uh, but it's not really good for entering orders. However, if you do need it in an emergency, this is a good worst case scenario backup. All right, just a quick note here. If you're looking for custom plugins for MetaTrader 5, the Trading Hero store has a lot of plugins that can be used for MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, Forex Tester, and other software platforms. We also have courses to improve your trading and other software products that can help you become a better trader. So check it out at store.tradingheroes.com or click the link in the description below. All right, back to the video. All right, now here's the Android version of MetaTrader 5. Uh, so you're gonna go to the chart on the bottom of the screen. Then in the upper right corner, there's gonna be a plus sign. So go to that and that will allow you to trade. That brings you to the order entry screen. At the top, there's gonna to be the order type, instant execution, buy limits, stops, whatever, right? So we're gonna do instant execution for a market order. Now below that bar is the lot size. So right now it's at one uh, full lot. If you wanna subtract one uh, micro lot, you can hit the minus one or minus 0 0.01 on the left side, and that'll bring it down. Uh, if you wanna subtract a mini lot, you just hit the minus 0.1. And then if you wanna add on the right, it's uh, the same deal. Now, if you wanna customize it to a, a size that you would prefer, maybe you wanna do something bigger, maybe like two full lots, uh, just hit the price in the middle and the cursor will show up. And then you just use the keypad at the bottom to enter the number of lots you wanna use. Now, as far as setting the stop loss and take profit, uh, it's not very easy on this version of MetaTrader 5. So the best thing to do here is to hit the crosshair, drag that to where you want the uh, stop loss to be, write that down on a piece of paper or on your notepad. Uh, if you don't have enough space, you can pinch to or get rid of the crosshair first and you can pinch and that will um, shrink, the, shrink the chart and you can set your Stop loss accordingly there. Just write down that price. And then for the take profit, same thing. You just drag it down. If you have a pending order, uh, similar situation, you just drag the crosshair and you write down the price of where you want the trade to enter. And then you go to the order entry screen by tapping that plus symbol in the upper right corner. And then you put in the price there manually. Same thing with the, same thing with the take profit. And you can hit the plus symbol to get a price that's pretty close to the current price and that can be a good starting point then at that point you just hit the buy or sell button at the bottom and your order is entered all right so this is the MetaTrader 5 web version it's called the web terminal and you can get the link to this um, page in the description below but all you're going to do here is you're going to log into your demo account or your live trading account and you're going to play some trades this is a great thing to use because you don't have to install any software it works in any browser However, the features are limited. So this is only good for if you're away from your main computer or you forgot your laptop or something like that and you're using somebody else's computer. So here's how you set the stop loss and the take profit on this interface. So what you're gonna do is go to new order and that's gonna bring up the uh, new order window on the left side here. And then you're gonna, at the top, you're gonna select your entry type. So you can do all of the normal entries Let's just do instant execution or a market order. So in order to set the stop loss, what you're going to do is you're going to first hit the plus or minus symbol in the stop loss box. That will bring up this uh, line here, this red line. So you can see SL so for stop loss at the current at the price. So let's just see. I'm going to set the stop loss up here. And then same thing with for the take profit. You just hit the um, plus or minus there. And then this green line will appear. So you can uh, move that down and put that there. And then uh, it's gonna automatically detect whether you should be buying or selling because the uh, stop loss is above the price. So this is gonna be a sell. If it was the other direction where the stop loss was below the take profit, then the, uh, the blue buy market uh, button would be available there. So now that we've set our stop loss and our take profit, um, then we just 
hit the sell by market button and then hit OK. And then in your uh, trades, you're going to have this one trade here. So that's how you set a stop loss and a take profit in the web version of MetaTrader 5. If you like that video, a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to get updates on future videos. And let me know what you think of this video. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I hope your trading is going well.